So if you're a dropshipping or an e-commerce business, then you should stick around because you've probably already lost a ton of revenue not launching your products properly through email marketing. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the proper way to, actually, or one of the proper ways to launch a product or collection for your e-commerce Shopify business through email marketing. Now, you not only need the right strategy to get your list excited, but also the right strategy to actually reach your list to make sure that you're not churning your subscribers through shitty non-personalized kind of emails by the way this method works insanely well for real brands so if you're a dropshipper then this video might not be the best for you let's get into it so most people do product launches like this right they just have they run run ads saying hey we're about to launch hey we're about to launch and this you know it's not a very exciting way of doing product launches because worst case at best you're going to be posting a few social media posts to your instagram facebook etc announcing this and maybe one or two emails saying hey you know like buy me right and and that's just not a very exciting way to do things because it doesn't really build up any hype with your subscribers and most likely they're just going to be thinking for fuck's sake not another one right so how do you actually launch a product properly drop out of college obviously i'm joking but you know email marketing can get pretty dry sometimes so you've got to let me have some fun but yeah um for all though if you can't be bothered to manage your email channels properly and you just want some absolute killers to do it for you then book in a call with me below anyways so the correct way that will maximize sales for you and minimize your churn rate with your list is the following right so at my agency we generally split the product launch or collections launch sequence into three parts so there's the pre-launch there's the launch day and then there's post launch right so these are the four three different segments when it comes to the pre-launch depending on the size of the collection or the kind of like magnitude of the product so for example if you're a brand that only launches one product a year or two products a year then the magnitude of this product should be pretty big and the bigger the, the magnitude the more hype you want to build up so the longer the pre-launch sequence should be so in my opinion the pre-launch sequence should be anywhere from one day to one week and the way you would structure the emails is you want to be segmenting them uh, one to two days apart and generally speaking if you're not someone who understands email marketing and deliverability to a very very high standard then i would just stick to a 24 to kind of like 48 hour window prior to the actual launch day because this is the safest option and there's nothing you can really do during that period uh, to really screw up your deliverability. So if you're not someone who's very well versed in email marketing, just stick to the strategy that I'm about to give you. Right, so either 24 or 48 hours prior to the launch day, you wanna send one to two emails. And then from there, you can either, the second email can be a booster as well. Second email can be a booster. It just doesn't really matter. And if, you, if you're confused as to what a booster email is, uh, I should already have a video on the channel explaining exactly how to uh, create the segment for this. I'll try to get my editor to link it down in the video description below. So yeah, now when it comes to the launch day, this is the most revenue generating uh, email you're gonna be sending in this entire sequence. So make sure this is a good one, right? So this one, you wanna be sending to the uh, entire list pretty much or as as many as you can send without hurting deliverability with, with the launch email I like to broaden the list to about a 15% open rate predicted as opposed to only sending to a super highly engaged list to really maximize those open rates so entire list if possible if not then you want to be um, sending to or send to a warm uh, segment now, if you really want to be cheeky when it comes to the post launch sequence, you can actually send an offer as well, but I'll get into that a little later. So when it comes to the launch day sequence, you want to be sending the first email and then 24 to 48 hours after. Generally speaking, I like going with 24 hours after or 16 or 16 hours after you want to send a booster. 
again, right? And this is super, super powerful to make sure you're catching anyone that hasn't actually seen the initial email uh, to really maximize that open rate. Now, when it comes to the post launch, uh, this is where it also can get a bit tricky and uh, it actually gets quite a bit fun. Uh, so you wanna be educating the customer on the products, so educational content uh, plus authority plus trust building, right? The only reason why someone might have not bought from you on launch day is it could be either they just forgot or they are going to buy it later. Or maybe, and this is where you can actually start the objection handling process in the post-launch sequence, it's maybe they're not educated enough about your products. Like they don't really know what your products do. Or maybe they don't think that, um, you know, your, your products actually, they actually work. So this is a trust building section, right? You, you want to build some trust with your audience in order for them to buy from you. Or maybe they think that, you know, you're just a small startup brand with no real kind of like authority in the space. Then you can throw out some authority statements. So for example, if you've been featured on any publications or uh, worked with any super large influencers, this is where you can really build the authority, right? And then lastly, at the end of your post-launch sequence, this is where you can get a bit cheeky with giving people that have actually clicked on the email in uh, on any of these emails right here uh, a special offer right so a very very small discount to just nudge them towards purchasing and this is a this is something that needs to be implemented correctly because if done wrong it could actually piss off some of your list right so when it comes to sending offer you, the segment you want to be targeting is clicked in the last x days so when i say x days i mean if they have clicked on any of the previous emails right and then uh excluding people who have purchased already and the reason why you want to be excluding people who have purchased already from any of the uh, previous emails is because obviously you know if you're launching a product they expect you to not really give an offer so if they've already bought your product and then they see, oh, okay, they're giving a discount, it might really annoy some of these people and they might even cancel their order and reorder. And that's obviously something that you don't want to happen. Now, the strategy I've kind of just outlined here works insanely, insanely well. Um, we've literally generated multi six figures in a matter of weeks, right? Um, not even a matter of weeks, in one week. Um, for brands in the past using a strategy very similar to this. So I highly suggest you go implement it and do let me know how it goes. My email is boyan at plethora.com. If you have any email marketing related questions, uh, feel free to shoot me an email. I'm very active within my inbox. And I also have a private Facebook community where I give all the latest insights on e-commerce growth and email marketing. Link down below as well. Uh, please go join that because of the latest iOS 15 update that's gonna affect the ability to track open rates. So I'll be keeping uh, everyone posted with news on that within the group. Um, so yeah. Lastly, if you're an e-commerce brand that wants a absolutely killer done for you service when it comes to email marketing, and just basically just give your email channels to some absolute savages to handle. Uh, book in a call with me down below and I'll see if I can help you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.